Allison Berger here, and I'm your 2015 Virgin Atlantic Red Carpet Reporter. I'm at the London in West Hollywood, California, where the Great British Film Reception is about to take place. It's a chance when all the British nominees are going to be in town. They're all here. They're all excited. The world's eyes are on all of them. It makes sense just to bring them together and give them a huge round of applause. And 40 nominations in 20 categories, as you know. I mean, it's, it's an incredible testament to you know, the, the whole industry. It's a lot of fun. I was here last year um, at the Ambassador's house, so I figure that he doesn't want his lawn messed up this time, <laughs> which is why we're doing it at the London Hotel. I'm really happy to be here. It's nice to meet fellow Brits in Los Angeles. It must be a good home welcoming feeling. Absolutely. It's nice. I keep hearing all these English accents. I'm not used to it. It's weird. <laughs> I'm like, where am I? It has to be such a great feeling to be kind of like home away from home and back in Britain. It is. Back in Britain. It's great. It's great to hear that accent. It's been a while. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I feel like I need to stand. There we go. That works out perfectly. So how do you feel about being a part of tonight's event? Uh, it's a huge honor. This is this is the party I've actually been looking forward to the most. Oh, how in fun. Say that. I haven't been saying that to all the other parties either. This is amazing. There is no more exciting time than now to be part of the British film industry. What's going on in Belfast and London? And for us to be a part of it as a team in a short film in a small way is hugely humbled and thankful. What was your favorite part about working on this? Um, the creativity, being able to push the boat out and make it even more special than it, you know, than it would have been if we didn't push that a little bit further. What would you say to someone who is looking to do what you want to accomplish? Uh, take it slowly, I would say, because uh, you know I'm an old guy now. Don't be afraid. Don't do what you're told. And I love you. And I dress me as a grandson one day in the uh, in the film around the world in 80 days. Oh, you're like a part of the family. Uh, almost. What drew you to produce such an amazing film? Um, you know, I'm real. I was really drawn to in the modern day. If you think about it, there's not many movies that are just proper adult love stories. I was very moved by that and because their circumstances are so extraordinary, Stephen and Jane, um, that makes it even more a uh, unique ride, I think, for people. Uh, you know, it was a completely independent film. We made it for $15 million, really with the sole intention of getting Alan Turing's story out to a, a larger audience, um, honoring his legacy, and at the same time, you know, addressing the terrible tragedy at the end of his life. and hoping that people would find that story. 450 artists worked on the visual effects of Interstellar and uh, this is basically saying thank you to all of them. Do you have a place in your house picked out for where you'll put the award if you win on Sunday? Good problem to have, right? T.S. Eliot gave his Nobel Prize to his old school and I remember seeing it um, and I thought what a wonderful gesture that is. It, it is, it's a public thing, it's a public acknowledgement and those things ought to be shared, I think. So the red carpet has ended and the party has just gotten started. Can you see how much fun people are having behind me? Do you want to know where the hottest clubhouse is going to be this spring in LA? Well here, the British celebrities get a sneak peek at the new Virgin Atlantic clubhouse coming to LAX soon. Did you ask good questions? I think so. Yeah? I did. Oh, so <laughs> and did you get nervous? No. It was very relaxed. It was good. Well, the Great British Film Reception truly was a great event. Until next time, I'm your 2015 Virgin Atlantic Red Carpet Reporter, Alison Berger.